you ever get those tutorials which do nearly what you want but not quite what you want and yes my students have definitely had those but this is the tutorial that will probably do exactly that but we want a list that you can edit you can add to and you can delete and reorder so let's get to it and have some fun with this of course we're always going to start with swift ui struct is a standard content view which uh, is provided most of the time and we're going to put in a couple of variables first one is our item list which is is going to be a list to make it easy for you to play with and edit um, i'm not doing things sophisticated here just a straight nice easy item list and we've got a showing alert variable which allows you to switch the variable to alert or not and finally a new list item which as you can imagine allows you to put a new list item in right let's get into it now so uh, we're going to make a navigation view this provides a lot of free functionality uh, for relatively little work so the first thing we're going to do is make our list items we have to use for each for this like any loop you can call the inside of the loop what you liked i called it contact because i was making a list of contacts at the time but uh, you call it what you like and now we're going to have a look at the other functions very easy to make an on delete just remove the item and on move is similar we just need from offset to offset one again it's basically free functionality for one little line of code there uh, then we have our edit button that provides all of that functionality basically for free and then we start to work on our button plus button and we start by uh, toggling the show alert and I'm just printing press so you can see that and then once the alert happens enter a list item is presented and allows you to enter this is much better than trying to edit in text because this seems to generate a lot of areas particularly on the Mac which I've seen in some of the other tutorials so by doing it as an alert it means that it's not trying to edit it live while the list is being creative so once we've done that uh, we've just got to create one little minor function now remember this function has to be basically inside the struct so watch carefully for the spots here so you can see I've moved four here but it's still inside the uh, content view but it's outside the body so that's our submit function and that does the button just like actually in JavaScript or even just uh, some basic website so we put our new list item in and this is going to then add the item in I hope this has been just the tutorial you want uh, but if not let me know in the comments uh, what what did this or didn't this do and I might be able to either help you out or make the next tutorial as always I'd love a sub and I hope you're enjoying these as we go along we will include the full code so you can have a look in your own time thank you add edit delete everything you wanted in tutorial you know what read my mind that's right you know you want to sub